There's a lot of reasons you might want a dog as a pet. One reason is to have a huge, powerful guardian who can protect your family from all threats. But that's not for everyone. There's plenty of people who'd prefer to have a cute little ball of fur hanging around that pretty much can't protect them from anything at all, even if they do bark like a champion. Those are the little guys that we're looking at in this video. From the tiniest hunter to the wee doggy who loves to dig, here's the 20 smallest dog breeds in the world. <sighs> Number 20. Dachshund. The small and lively Dachshund has been a family favorite for a long time. Its long body and short legs make it easy to spot. Even though they don't look like it, Dachshunds were originally bred to be fierce hunters who would crawl into badger and rabbit holes to find their prey. Even though the Dachshunds are still sometimes used as hunting dogs, most of them are just as happy to play all day and then hang out with their peeps at home. They can live almost anywhere because they're small and they don't need much care, but beware, these little dogs can make a lot of noise. Dachshunds look cute and act silly, so it can be hard to imagine that they were originally bred to be fierce hunters. Yeah, this sausage-shaped pooch used to fight to the death. Even though modern Dachshunds are more lap dogs than Jedi Knights, this breed has kept its bravery and spirit. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Scottish Terrier. The Scottish Terrier dog breed is independent and stubborn, and it's also very sensitive to its owner's commands. They hate being shouted at. They're a true terrier, which means they're smart, independent, and funny, but in a serious way when it comes to protecting their owner. This makes them great watchdogs. Your Scotty won't be training for any marathons with you though, because they got short legs. They won't even go jogging with you. However, they make a great walking partner, especially if you like the way they constantly bark at bicycles and squirrels. Even though they're small, they don't yap too much though. Instead, they have a loud bark that can scare a burglar or delivery person out of his or her mind. With one of these dogs around, your yard will be free of rodents, but watch out for the holes that they've dug. Even though the Scottish Terrier is an old breed, not much is known about its past. The Scotties thought to have descended from a dog breed that Pliny the Elder wrote about back in 55 BC. He wrote that when the Romans came to Britain, they were surprised to find small dogs that would follow their prey to the ground. The Romans called these dogs terrari, which comes from the Latin word for earth and means workers of the land. And the name stuck to this day. Number 18. Shih Tzu. The name Shih Tzu means little lion but this breed of dog isn't ferocious at all. This dog doesn't hunt like a lion, it's a lover, not a fighter. Shih Tzus were only ever bred to be companions, so they're friendly, happy, and they love nothing more than to follow their owners from room to room. Since ancient times, they've made themselves at home on the laps of people from all walks of life, even emperors. If you want a small best friend who can live in an apartment, cuddle with you on the couch, and love you no matter what, this might be the dog for you. The Shih Tzu does kind of look like a snob because of their long flowing hair and their elegantly tied top knot. They look like they belong in a palace, sitting on silk pillows. On the other hand, nothing could be further from the truth. Shih Tzus are cute, but they're also loyal, friendly, and full of life. The Shih Tzu is sometimes called the Chrysanthemum Dog, which is a funny name for a dog, but it's because it's got hair on its face that grows in different directions. They look like a flower. There are many legends about the Shih Tzu. People say that Buddha went places with a small dog that looked just like a Shih Tzu. The story goes that one day a group of thieves came across the Buddha and planned to rob and kill him. The robbers were about to hurt Buddha, but the little dog turned into a fierce lion and scared them away. The lion then changed back into a happy-go-lucky puppy, which Buddha picked up and kissed. Some people say that the white spot on the head of many Shih Tzus is where the Buddha kissed his loyal friend. Number 17. Alaskan Klee Kai 
The Alaskan Klikai is a new breed of dog that looks like a smaller Siberian Husky. They're small, smart, and full of energy. Klikai's name comes from an Inuit word that means small dog. Even though Alaskan Klikais look like larger husky breeds, they're not the same as their ancestors who were working dogs of the north. This is especially true when it comes to temperament. This breed is better suited to being a pet, but like the husky, the Alaskan Klikai has a lot of energy and needs a lot of exercise. There are toy, miniature, and standard sizes of the Alaskan Klikai, but there isn't much of a difference between them. Alaskan Klikai toys are up to 13 inches tall, miniatures are 13 to 15 inches tall, and standards are 15 to 17 inches tall. Most Alaskan Klikais weigh between 10 and 15 pounds, but some are as small as 5 pounds, and others are as big as 22 pounds. Number 16. Chihuahua. The Chihuahua is a cute breed of dog because it's small, but it has a big personality. It also has a wide range of coat types and colors. All of them do well in important dog skills like agility and obedience. They're also among the top 10 watchdogs that experts recommend. Chihuahuas love being with their owners, and they don't need much in the way of grooming or exercise. They're great dogs for apartments, and they'll get along with everyone in the family. Just make sure that any kids who come to play know how to be gentle with a small dog, as they can't take too much rough and tumble. The Chihuahua is a spicy little hot tamale, and not just because it's associated with a certain fast food Mexican restaurant. He's known for being the smallest dog in the world, but he might have the biggest doggy personality also. When we look at the evidence that the Chihuahua came from Central and South America, we find that it goes back to the Toltec civilization. There's Toltec carvings from the 9th century that show a dog with the same big ears and round head like the Chihuahua. These dogs were called Tichichi, and it's not clear what role they played in Tolek society. The second theory is that small, hairless dogs from China were brought to Mexico by Spanish traders, who then bred them with small dogs from Mexico. Number 15. Rat Terrier Members of the dog breed of rat terriers are cute little escape artists who love to dig baby dig. They're true terriers, which means they're sassy, funny, energetic, lively, love to chase rats, and can't stand being bored. The rat terrier was originally bred to be the perfect farm dog. The breed was a favorite of President Theodore Roosevelt, whose own terrier got rid of a rat problem at the White House. It's clear that the rat terrier is a great public servant, as long as it's in their own best interest, which usually means having fun catching rats. They're an American tradition, just like apple pie, but watch what you put on your plate as these little guys are always hungry. From the 1910s to the 1940s, the rat terrier was a common sight on farms, but that changed when farmers started using poison to get rid of rodents. By the 1950s, it wasn't even a common breed anymore. A small number of breeders kept the breed alive until the late 1970s when it became popular again. The Rat Terrier is a small, strong dog that still has a place in all dog lovers' hearts. Number 14. Japanese Chin. The Japanese Chin dog comes from Japan, as I'm sure you guessed, where it's a popular pet and it has been for more than a thousand years. They were popular at the imperial courts of both China and Japan, and it was in Japan that they got their unique look. People who live with Chins are often amazed at how quickly the breed can jump over tall furniture. So watch out, they might just jump right up on the table. The small Japanese Chin is like a cat in that it likes to be up high, can climb, and likes to wash itself. These dogs have also been seen pawing things like balls of wool just like a cat. This breed is cute and delicate, calm and playful. They do well in apartments and with first-time pet owners, but they don't like being left home alone for long periods of time. Give your chin lots of love and attention, and it'll be a calm, loving cuddle buddy. The Japanese chin is smart and it's polite. It learns quickly, but it also has a mind of its own. If the training gets boring, they will choose to do something else, like destroy your furniture or climb on top of your wardrobe. They can be hard to house train, but if you stick with it and are consistent, they'll get there. Number 13. 
English Toy Spaniel. The English Toy Spaniel dog breed are called Charlies, after the king who loved them more than anything. They're quieter and more shy than their cousins, the Cavaliers, but they can be mischievous. They tend to prefer a single person and are not a very gregarious type of dog. When you think of an English Toy Spaniel or a King Charles Spaniel, as they're called in England, you probably think of words like sweet, gentle, and cute. This little guy has been loved by kings and looked up to by many other people. Charlies are small, square-shaped dogs with short faces, dome-shaped heads, and large, dark eyes, long ears with fringes, and a silky coat that flows. Their short tail is only 2 to 4 inches long, and it has a soft, feathery fur on it. But Charlie has a coat that's either straight or slightly wavy, and the legs and paws are covered with fur. Toy Spaniels have been around for a very long time, and they were popular, very popular in royal courts. Mary Queen of Scots, her grandson Charles I, and her great-grandson Charles II all loved these small Spaniels. And like all good royal subjects, they are loyal to the point of death. Mary Queen of Scots and Charles I both had their pet Spaniels with them when they were executed. Number 12. Miniature Pinscher The Miniature Pinscher was first bred in Germany to hunt rats and other pests in homes and in stables. Many people think that they come from Dobermans that were bred to be smaller and smaller, and they do look like Dobermans. But the Mini Pin is a different breed that's been around much longer. When you meet a Miniature Pinscher, a small, elegant dog with an arched neck and a well-muscled body, you'll find out why these dog's owners tell you that this little pup is the boss. The small dog breed weighs between 8 and 11 pounds, and it's got a lot of attitude for its size. This little one has a lot of energy and spirit. He's very curious and likes to check out and maybe eat basically everything. He needs to be closely watched so he doesn't do anything that he shouldn't. And he's good at running away too, so he shouldn't be outside without a leash. In fact, you'll have to keep an eye on this pup whenever you answer the door. This is a Houdini dog. Number 11. Papillon. The Papillon dog breed is related to Toy Spaniels, which were often famously painted by the old masters as early as the 16th century. They're very active and they do well in agility and obedience competitions. The Papillon, whose name comes from the French word for butterfly, is like a portrait come to life. They're the modern version of the dogs that we saw painted from centuries ago. The Dwarf Spaniel, as it was once called, has changed a bit over the years, but he's still the same great friend who used to sit on the laps of ladies and kings. The name Papillon comes from the way that the breed's long, fanned ears stand up like the wings of a butterfly. The breed also has a variation with drooping ears called a phalen, which means moth, and is different to the butterfly in that it folds its wings when it's not moving. Both types can come from the same litter, but the Papillon is the more well-known and popular type. The Papillon is friendly and active. They're a happy dog that loves to be around people and gives licks and kisses to anyone and everyone. The Papillon's a small dog that's easy to handle. They have a thick coat, but it's easy to take care of and it doesn't shed a lot. Number 10. Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier is a small dog, but like some of the others on the list, it too has a big personality. It makes a feisty but loving friend. The Yorkie is the most popular breed of small dog in the United States. It's won many fans with its loyalty to its owners, elegant looks, and its ability to live in an apartment. The Yorkshire Terrier, also known as a Yorkie, seems very proud. And why shouldn't they be? The Yorkshire Terrier is one of the more beautiful dogs. With their long, silky coat and perky top knot, they're sure to draw attention wherever they go. Because they're so small, their owners often carry them around in a special dog purse. The Yorkie's long steel blue and tan coat may be his best feature, but it's his personality that makes us love him. The Yorkshire Terrier is a big dog and a small body. They don't care that they only weigh about 7 pounds. They're always looking for adventure and maybe even a little bit of trouble. During the Industrial Revolution in England, workers from Scotland moved to Yorkshire to work in coal mines, textile mills, and factories. They brought with them a dog called a Clydesdale Terrier or a Paisley Terrier. These dogs were much bigger than the Yorkshire Terrier that we know today. It's thought that their main job was to catch rats in the mills. Number 9. Norfolk Terrier 
Now, similar to the Yorkie, people say that the Norfolk Terrier is a big dog in a small package. They're smart, friendly, and quick, and they have the heart of a working terrier. The Norfolk Terrier may be the right breed for you if you want a dog that's active, brave, and loving all at the same time. The 12-pound Norfolk is liked by all who know and love him because he's friendly and outgoing and strong. He's an all-terrier, determined, independent, hardworking, charming. He's never boring and he definitely isn't a couch potato. The Norfolk is very cute, with his small dark eyes that sparkle with mischief and his rough wiry coat, it's hard to turn away from this pup when you spot one. In the US, however, the Norfolk isn't very common. In America, less than 300 puppies are born each year. Litters are small, so if you want a Norfolk, you might have to wait up to a whole year for one. The Norfolk was first made to hunt rats in barns and kill them, but the Norfolk and the Norwich Terrier used to be called Norwich Terrier. The only difference was the Norwich's ears stood up and the Norfolk's ears flopped down, but now they're recognized as different breeds. Number 8. Norwich Terrier and now the pointy-eared Norwich Terrier. The Norwich Terrier started out as a ratter on farms, but it moved up in the world to help hunters get foxes out of their dens. Today, they're entertaining pets that also keep your house and yard free of rats and other pests. The Norwich Terrier is one of the smallest terriers, but he makes up for his size with his personality and drive. This terrier is a great pet for a person or family that likes to stay busy. His name tells you something about his appearance, and it helps you tell him apart from his brother, the Norfolk Terrier. Remember that the Norwich has pointy ears that stand up like a witch's hat. The Norwich Terrier's daily life shows how driven he is. He chases squirrels and other rodents, he runs out of doors and gates if he isn't held back, and he digs and barks for fun. <laughs> These terrier behaviors could make him unsuitable for a person or family that isn't sure that that won't get in the way. On the plus side, he's faithful and watchful, which makes him a good watchdog. The Norwich Terrier is one of the newer dog breeds, and its history is similar to the Norfolk Terrier. Number 7. Cairn Terrier The Cairn Terrier is a small working terrier that came from Scotland's Isle of Skye. Farmers used them to get rid of pests on their land. And to do this, they needed a dog with courage, tenacity, and intelligence, all of which the Cairn still has. If you've seen The Wizard of Oz, you've seen one of the most well-known Cairn Terriers of all time. The dog in the movie who played Toto was a Cairn named Terry. She was paid $125 per week to play Toto. Her trainer, Carl Spitz, owned her, and she had been in movies before her famous role in Oz. She lived until she was 11 years old. Toto in the movie is a typical Cairn. He's a small, strong, shaggy-coated terrier who's smart and sure of himself. The breed is always alert and ready to do something. The Cairn is also interested in everything it finds and it learns quickly. They're independent and a little bit stubborn, just like all terriers. Even though he likes to be on his own, the Cairn is a sensitive dog. He gets hurt easily and he doesn't like being scolded or corrected in a harsh way. The best way to teach a Cairn is to be kind and positive. Number 6. Silky Terrier Even though they only weigh 8 to 10 pounds when fully grown, the Silky Terrier is tough and sure of itself. This may be because their ancestors were small prey hunters. The Silky, as they're often called, is an elegant little dog with a beautiful silky tan and blue coat. That probably wasn't a surprise given its name. Underneath that soft-looking surface, though, is a strong, brave spirit. People who don't know much about the breed are often surprised when they see a small silky scare off intruders, play with big dogs, or keep up with its owner on a hike. But you shouldn't be surprised. The silky is, after all, a terrier, and it's got a typical terrier personality. It's scrappy, determined, and it likes to dig, bark, and chase. If you don't think these things are cute, the terrier silky is not for you. Even though the Silky has a tough personality, he's a loyal dog who loves to be with his family. He does his best in homes where he won't be left alone for long periods of time. 
He needs the company of his human pack, and if he isn't watched, he's likely to get into trouble. Silkies have a strong desire to hunt, and they will chase cats, squirrels, rodents, and sometimes even other dogs. If you have other small pets, a silky may not be the best choice. Also, keep your silky on a leash when you're in an open area so he doesn't run off when something small and furry runs by. Number 5. Brussels Griffin this dog used to live on the streets of Belgium. It was originally bred to hunt and kill rats. Gosh, we're hearing that one a lot, aren't we? Even though the Brussels Griffin is a small dog, it's not a spoiled pet. Their intelligence, sense of humor, and sense of self-importance keep them one step ahead of their owners, who love them anyway. They're friendly and full of life. People often say that the cute Brussels Griffin has a monkey face. This small, strong dog looks smart and lively, almost as if it was a human. Brussels Griffins, also just called Griffins for short, are from Belgium. They were used to keep stables free of rats and mice by using their hunting skills. Over time, they became more popular as house pets, and for the right person, these happy, curious, and loving dogs make great companions. You're such a good dog, you. They can be sensitive, moody, and high-strung, and they want a lot of attention from their owners. Many people have said that griffins look like Ewoks or Wookiees from Star Wars because they have a flat face, a strong chin, and big, wide-set eyes. Even though they're small and they look cute, these dogs are strong and athletic. Many griffins take part in sports like agility, obedience, and other shows. Some Brussels griffins are greedy eaters, while others are picky eaters. You don't really want to leave food out for them all the time. It's best to measure out their food and give them regular meals. Number 4. Maltese The Maltese is a kind and brave dog breed that treats everyone like a friend. Their fancy white coats makes them look like arrogant nobles, but don't let their appearances fool you. Over the Maltese's long history, they've been called many names like the Melite Dog, Ye Ancient Doggy of Malta, Roman Ladies Dog, The Comforter, Spaniel Gentle, Bichon, Maltese Lion Dog, and Maltese Terrier. Today, people just call them the Maltese. This small dog breed is known for having silky white hair all over its body. The coat falls straight and thick all the way to the floor. Maltese used to come in many different colors, but now they're always white. When a Maltese that is built right moves, it looks like they're floating under the cloud of white hair. The Maltese doesn't shed much because they don't have an undercoat. That's why many people think that the breed is hypoallergenic. But the Maltese is more than just a coat. A slightly rounded head, a black nose, drop ears, dark alert eyes, short straight legs, and a graceful tail complete the picture. They're nice, smart dogs who love their people very much. And because they're one of the smallest toy breeds, they're a good fit for living in an apartment or a condo. The Maltese is sensitive to their surroundings, and they make a great watchdog no matter where they live. Number 3. Pekingese Pekingese dogs were bred for hundreds of years to be their favorite pets of the Chinese royal family. Even now, they're loved family pets and show dogs that greet everyone with dignity and grace. Given that Pekingese used to be the favorite of the emperor, it's not surprising that he has a high opinion of himself. At the Chinese imperial court, he was very respected, and he still knows that. The Pekingese will welcome you with pride and honor. He knows that his ancestors were close to royalty, and he still wants to be treated with that respect that comes with it. He has soft, round brown eyes, a mane of long, straight hair, and a tail that he carries proudly over his back. Pekingese are very smart. Can you speak? But they also have a strong sense of independence and are very stubborn. It's hard to teach them. They always think they're in charge, so you gotta show them that you're in charge and that doing what you want is in their best interest. Pekingese don't do well with harsh training or discipline, which can make them angry and even make them bite. They're brave, even to the point of being stupid, and they'll fight for you to the death if they have to. Number 2. Yorkie Poo 
A Yorkie Poo is a mix between a Yorkshire Terrier and a toy or miniature poodle. It's a fun-loving designer dog, which means that it's a mixed dog breed. They're smart, loving, and gentle, so they make great friends. They're also great for living in an apartment, as long as you don't mind the barking. People and fun are important to the Yorkie Poo, but not necessarily in that order. He will make his family happy, and he is always ready to do tricks or show off for guests. He doesn't get too angry or act rude, because because he's sure of himself. He's comfortable in his own skin. The Yorkie Poo is a great dog for people who want a small, confident dog with a lot of energy and even more love. The Yorkie Poo barks, like a lot, and he wants you to know just how good he is at barking, so you better look impressed. But it's a good watchdog in general. He'll bark if someone comes to the door or if he sees something strange, but it's likely that his idea of what's strange is different from yours, so it might get a little bit annoying. Some Yorkie Poos can be taught to only bark once or twice, but many can't and will just bark until they can't bark anymore. Number 1. Pomeranian The tiny Pomeranian descends from big sled dog breeds, so it's got a long and interesting history. The fox-faced dog is small, active, and has the nickname, the little dog who thinks he can. He can compete in agility and obedience events, or just be a family pet. The Pomeranian's the smallest dog in the Spitz family. Other dogs in this family include the Samoyan, the Alaskan Malamute, and the Norwegian Elkhound. Palms get their name from the German state of Pomerania. Queen Victoria let some of her own Pomeranians be the first Pomeranians ever to be shown in a confirmation show. This made them very popular. Palms are smart, and they're loyal to their families. They're also furry and cute. Don't be fooled by how cute they are, though. These dogs are brave, and they have their own minds. They are aware and interested in what's going on around them. Unfortunately, they think that they're much bigger than they really are, which can make them bother and even attack much bigger dogs. Would you want to own any of these cute dogs? What's your favorite tiny dog? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.